Hi, it's Faceless Tech. So you've all you've probably purchased a uh, solderless uh, macro kit. Um, it comes with a um, hinge bar um, and a speaker cover for the uh, stylus cover. So I'm going to show you now how to fully start to finish, how to assemble and get your macro kit working. So what we do is get your DS. Um, doesn't matter what condition it's in, if it's working, non-working, if it turns on, goes off straight away, you know, that's like the perfect candidate for this uh, mod. Uh, what you're going to need first is your uh, Phillips screwdriver and your tri-ring, like a Nintendo screwdriver as people call them. Flip your DS over, remove your GBA uh, cover or GBA game, remove your DS game, remove your stylus. Um, let's start with removing the battery. So Phillips screwdriver in there, flip it over, cover it and your battery will just come out. There's uh, two hidden screws here, which I'm going to show you now. There's one under here. So you might just want to carefully remove these. They're only just stuck on with double sided tape because you want to use these later. So there's one there and then there's another one here. So now we have access to all the screws now. So what I normally start with, tri ring, tri -ring screwdriver, there's four tri -ring screws. So we'll just start undoing these. And Nintendo love to use tri -ring screws. There's a few units that they don't actually use tri -ring screws on. Um, noticeably the uh, 2DS, not the XL one. The wedge shaped one. So we should have now, let's keep a hold of all these screws as well. Even if you're um, going to reshell your DS in this process, I'd suggest keeping the proper screws because they look a hell of a lot nicer than the stuff they put in the reshell kits. So next two, two of the top ones here. These are like a goldy colour. So it's quite easy to, um, don't want to come out, does he? Two gold ones here, and then there's this one here, silver one, another Phillips one. He does not want to come out. Leave him there. Um, right, okay, now what you want to do is flip it over and you want to run, run your thumb, nail, or if you've got like a spudger, just in this gap here, because it's always, it's, always, uh, it's always a pain to get apart. Once that comes apart, you should have the back off. You've got to watch out for your uh, volume slider and there's the um, power slider. Also, you've got your L and R buttons, which are, they're on like little posts. There's normally, I've took this one apart previously, there's normally like a little spring in there. You don't really need to put them back in because the dust, the, back, the buttons themselves spring, are springy enough to, um, you know, so you don't really need it. So, right, you've got the back here. There's uh, another two screws here, another two Phillips screws. This hold, these hold the main board down. This this one you actually seen through the battery bay before, but you didn't. You probably thought, why is he not taking that out? And you can tell that these ones are to be screwed here because they've got these white circles around them, silk, silk screen circles. Right. Next up, we've got to disconnect the uh, your Wi-Fi antenna. Do a pair of tweezers for that, and your microphone. You just want to lift that up. That's it. And then you can pull them out. This one is probably the hardest one to remove because it has to come under the DS slot. Which is always fun. To be honest with these, you can you could you can literally just chop them off because you're not going to use them. That one just comes around, it's just underneath the board at the top here. We're actually just going to chop that because, um, you know, because I'm wild. 
like that. If you can't, if you can't get out or get stuck, just chop it. You don't need it. Right now, you can. You kind of want to lift open your board, lift open your your DS sort of screen like this, and you want to push on the screen, the touch screen, and then this will come out. Gently flip it over, disconnect the top screen. There's just like a little um, latch that you latch up, pull it out. There we go. We're going to put this as a side to the start uh, aside for a minute, and there you go. You got your DS board. Now, if you connect your battery. And you'll notice that it just doesn't want to do anything. Oh, that's why the uh, Wi-Fi uh, board would come out then. But it'll kind of come on. There you go. That's what it, that's because the top screen is not connected. Right. Let's prepare the shells. So what you want to do is start with the bottom shell. You want to take out the stylus holder because we're not going to be using that. More gold screws, similar to ones that we had in the hinge behind the hinge bar. You just keep these as well, just for spares. So you want to take that out, and there's also this to come out. So that is the bottom one prepared. Top one, a little bit different. You want to take these two screws here to the hinge for the hinge. These are quite long, massive growlers. This will take that out and because we're not really bothered about this top screen you can you can if it is a working top screen you want to keep it you just want to slide this connector down through sort of this little gap and it will just come out and just kind of eek them out with it. We don't really need this. This can just go to the side. We won't need that again. Um, I was going to say the buttons are going to fall out. But what, this is how we install the hinge bar. You basically want to. There's two sides to it where you can see the way it's going to go with the with the text. But there's two sides. There's one which is like a round side and one which is like a flat side. And the flat side is going to go in the flat the, the flat side. The square side is going to go in the square bit and the round bit and the round hole. Stick that together, flip it over, put your growlers back in. You could always, um, you know, I've got them with a black hinge bar. You could go with a white one if you wanted to. You might just want to just try and keep your, your buttons in with the rubbers because it just makes it a lot easier later on, but there you go. Your nice hinge bar installed. Then we're going to move on to the bottom. I've made a little grill to cover your because your speaker's going to go down here. Just use one of your gold um, screws from your stylus. That just sl slots into place. Just make sure it's squared up. It is installed correctly. That's it for the 3D printed parts, really. Now we're going to go back to the shell, back to the main board. Uh, and we're going to install our macro, solar's macro mod. So you want to have it, the, sh the silver side, the gold side down, similar to the way that the screen was installed. So you want to push it in. You've got to make sure this goes all the way in. You'll see it just nicely fit. And then we're going to give it a test to make sure we have installed it correctly. And we should, that's it. Test your speaker out as well, and there we go. You can, at this point, you can either choose to remove the touch screen if it's really scratched up. What you want to do is just remove the screen by flicking this up and then flicking this over, and there's a little latch here. You might want to remove this, just get easy access to the latch, take that off, and then it's just a means of like pulling this layer off, and you'll be left with like a nice uh, screen. Uh, if, it, if it is like this one's in quite good condition, just keep, keep it on. You might want to just keep it as the way it is, or you can um, just do whatever you want, really. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Um, but now we need to get these shells back. So what I normally do is screw this into the top, like the faceplate, as we call it. 
you want to use your two silver screws screw them back in just make sure everything is sitting sitting nicely you haven't disturbed them you know, with under the rubbers or whatever you can always give it another test now if you want to as you see we've got we've still got the um, indicators there as well which is nice now we're gonna have to route this um, speaker cable which has dust come off but on yours it won't so you kind of want to just put it round around here because we haven't got the stylus the stylus used to go through here so we haven't got that anymore you kind of just want to get it to kind of get it to go around here you don't want it to go in this hole here as you can see because we're going to put these here back in the holes now there's going to be a bit double sided double sided tape on your speaker so you wanna, what we're gonna do is do a dry run first. I say this because um, you obviously want your speaker like this, right? Because under here, under the um, buttons is the, um, because the speaker in the top of the DS, when it hinged down, it would turn it, it would make it go into sleep mode. And there's like a, sort of like a, not bead switch, like a magnet magnetic switch under the, in the buttons. So you kinda wanna keep this as far down as possible, but not to get in the way of other things. So what we'll do is a dry run. We'll get the back now. So you've got that snake down there. We'll get the back. Make sure that your power um, connect power button slider is slid all the way down, and you want to put your volume thing back in if it's come out. Just kind of just put it in the bottom first, and then push it, push it in. Yep, and you kind of want to line it up with however your slider is currently so mine slid all the way to the left so we slide it all the way to the left make sure that's down you kind of want to just place it over the top yep kind of want everything right let's try the power oh no power button set yep so that means that your speaker is in the right place. If it isn't, it will um, kind of come on and then it'll go into like sleep mode straight away. So if it is in the right place, you will want to undo your double stick tape and stick that down into place. So everything, it will go back together now. So once you've done that, put this back on, make sure obviously your power your slider and stuff everything's in the right place and it will go on it was just make sure that your slider is sliding and this kind of feels normal and that's full travel if it's not in the right place it won't have full travel so yeah we want to go in reverse now back in reverse putting your screws back in i know we start with these top ones here start with them put them back in Stick your two tri wings back in the corners. And then before we actually put the rest in, let's do another quick test. There we go. The speaker's not working on this one because obviously the wires come off. But on yours it will. Should have a nice speaker. Uh, finish putting the rest of your screws in. Your other tri wing one that goes here. And your final one, your Phillips one in here. Put your battery in, battery cover on. And then stick your sticky buttons back into place, like the curved top bit. And there you go, job done, finished. As usual, um, there'll probably be like a blog post in the description description of the um, 
tools you'll need. Wait a minute, I forgot one. I forgot the black one. I always forget this one. Yeah, there'll be a description of the tools you'll need. Um, there's not many really. And where to buy the kit from. As usual, thanks for watching. Bye.